Hey guys, Andrew here. So in this video, we're gonna talk about kids and video games. We wanted to open up a discussion uh, about this because a couple days ago, saw on Instagram a post of a three-year-old absolutely crushing it on his tablet playing Call of Duty. Uh, it was on House of Highlights. And on one hand, it's kind of like, oh, this kid's really crushing it. But on the other, it opened up a bit of backlash and we just wanted to open up on that. Now, before we get started, I wanna say that this is actually a test pilot episode of our dad verb podcast that we're looking to move forward with in the coming days and months and weeks or i don't know how long we're going to get it but i just i, I want to introduce really quickly uh a buddy of mine uh ben mckenzie he's a fellow uh, dad creator and um i, I just want to open the floor to him and introduce you guys ben do you want to introduce yourself yeah yeah thanks for the introduction andrew i appreciate it and uh really excited to be a part of the the dad verb family so um, you know, a little bit of background on me. My name is Ben. Uh, I've been creating content now online for, oh gosh, a couple of years, mostly just for personal use, but uh, all that really changed when I became a dad. So we had our first kid in 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic. Um, so really, really weird world to bring a kid into. Um, but one of the things that I found was that there wasn't a ton of content out there for dads and the people who were doing it were doing it really well, but those channels were few and far between. Um, and so with uh, some background in photography and videography, I decided, hey, this is a great space to get into, a great space to start talking to other dads, building this community and really learning about things from other dads' perspectives, whether it's baby gear, parenting, you know, raising your kids, uh, and, and really getting that support and community aspect that you see a lot in the, the sort of mom online community. Um, as far as our home life, we have uh, one two and a half year old son and we've got our second one on the way here in a couple of weeks. Uh, little girl, we're very, very excited about that and really amped up to be a parent of two young kids. A little bit excited, a little bit scared. Um, but we'll get through it together and excited to, uh, you know, have this community of dads to share that with and learn from. If you like what we're going to be doing first, go ahead and hit that like button and then comment like what other topics you want us to, to, to open up with, uh, as we, as we move forward with the podcast, any suggestions are going to be uh, really helpful for us as we kind of work out our, our show docs in the coming episodes, I guess it's, it's really exciting what we've, uh, what we've got cooking up. So Let's go ahead and talk about kids and video games here. So when we see that clip of this kid, again, absolutely crushing it uh, on his yeah, it tablet. Impressive. Really impressive. It, it is impressive, man. It opens up, I guess like for me, like two levels of concern, all right? So the first is gonna be like what he's doing. This kid's like inches away. He's inches away yeah, from his tablet and just so like going at it, right? And like, your, your brain is like processing so many things. Like you're, you're shooting, you're reloading, you're constantly analyzing where people are coming from in a game like this, right? And there's just, it's 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 brain overload, right? Uh, you're overstimulated. And I think that's one level of concern. And then the second level is like what he's playing, right? He, he's playing Call of Duty. Obviously it's a shooter, there's violence. And uh, I think a lot of parents, uh, you know, kind of focus probably more on that. On the comment section, you're hearing lots of like, you're, you're a terrible parent, they're, they're, you know, this is bad, this is horrible, but like, why is it bad? Because I play video games, right? But like, why is it bad? Is it because he's young? So let, we'll get into that. I mean, when you see that, what are you thinking? Well, I think the first thing that struck me is, is how incredibly fast kids pick things up, whatever they're exposed to, right? So if he is actually three years old and he has picked up a an incredibly complex game like Call of Duty that quickly and is that right. good at it. The right. fact that he can, you know, move and shoot and have the the hand eye coordination to dominate in in such a complicated game that even, you know, adults have a really hard time playing. I think that's one really interesting thing to see here. Right. Secondarily, I think the concern around, you know, violence in video games or just video games in general and young kids is a big one, right? Because their brains are still developing, you know, when they're so young, I mean, really up until I believe it's your teenage years, your brain is still developing constantly. You're still learning new things. You're still making new connections. And so the really interesting thing here is with kids this age is, and I see this with my son, is there's no way for them to tell fantasy from reality. 
Right. And so a lot of times they'll they'll conflate and mix up what happens in the real life with what happens in a book we read at bedtime or something that happens on a show and they'll talk about it as if it's this real life experience. Now, you add on top of that the layer of, you know, a, a very violent video game where they're shooting, they're running, they're they're killing other players. And it, it's interesting too if you listen to him speaking in the background, you can actually hear this sort of dialogue where he's talking about, oh, I, you know, that's one snipe and, you know, I got this kill here. And he's talking about it in sort of a very advanced way, but it's very nonchalant. It's kind of cold in the way and almost calculated in the way he thinks about playing the game, um, which for a three-year-old, again, not being able to tell the difference between reality and fantasy, that's where my biggest concern would be if that were my kid. In the long term, repeated exposure to violent video games is theorized to repeatedly activate and reinforce aggression-related scripts and schemas, eventually leading to increased aggressive personality, decreased pro-social behavior, desensitization, and, decre and decreased empathy. However, all longitudinal research to date on the, on the effects of violent video games on aggressive and pro-social behavior have focused on group level differences, ignoring individual tra uh, trajectories and experiences. So this is kind of like something that I hear uh, like it, with people like in defense of vi video games, like there's no correlation to like people like playing shooters and them committing like giant crime. In my head, I feel like in my heart of hearts, there's gotta be a correlation to it. Just like us as a society, we're just being desensitized to, to so much um, in this world. And I don't know, just it being fed to a, you know, to a three-year-old, that's, that's just inherently wrong to me, you know? Yeah, I think there's, there's sort of two things here right there's the sort of the the child psychology and the developmental psychology that goes into it and and i think there's kind of this chicken or the egg scenario when you get into these um you know folks that have committed violent crimes are they are they typically surrounded by real world violence and then coupling that with mental health issues or is it kids that are you know you look at this whole kind of like incel culture right where kids are sort of isolated and alone and spending a lot of time with their own media unsupervised and they're not having a lot of human interaction so is it the the mental issues that develop and then the video games or those you know being surrounded by violence then increases their tendency to pursue those fantasies to pursue those ideas or do those mental issues develop out of or as part of the sort of cognitive developmental path that comes out of being constantly exposed to violent video games? Um, and, you know, I think you have to look at environmental factors, too, like what is their home life like? What is their, um, you know, their interaction with their parents like? We're seeing one piece of this kid's life in, in totality, right? And so we're trying to make a judgment call based on seeing this one 30 second clip on, you know, maybe this isn't a normal thing for him. Maybe it's just something he kind of picked it up and started doing it. His parents thought it was really cool and, you know, decided to take a video of it. Um, but I think, you know, there's so many other factors that go into a child's development and are the parents balancing this out, right? Is this something he's doing for hours a day by himself unsupervised? Or is this something that they're, you know, doing together as a family? Your brain is making so many micro decisions at such a rapid clip and you're changing weapons and you're, you're constantly analyzing what's the best thing to use in this situation. And you're doing this very, very quickly. And when you're a three-year-old or four-year-old, just any kid, right and you're doing this your mind is racing very quickly and then your yeah. mom tells you to stop right yeah. and slow things down you're still in this place where you're just like you need to be stimulated in some way right, right? like what, well, what's next their mind is already conditioned to want to just be stimulated not just you know be stimulated by you know something that's like active or whatever at, at a very hyper level and being able to tame that once they're already conditioned and, and it's part of their routine is a very, very, very difficult thing to rein in. Uh, and it can be a slippery slope and that can manifest itself in a lot of ways, specifically behaviorally. And I've noticed this as, as a, a difference in behavior in our two and a half year old is if he watches too much TV and we cut it off, 
I mean, it's like cutting the kid off of a drug. Like if he sits there and watches tots for too long, you know, if he watches it for more than an hour and you turn it off, he has a meltdown because tots is now not on TV. Um, so it's really cutting them off from that. That that's, it gets really interesting to see how he behaves when he doesn't have access to it anymore. As parents, it's, you know, it's tough because like, yeah, it's great the, these things kind of serve as a distraction, kind of gives us the time that we need to, you know, do whatever. and you know and kids are a grind you know like it's you know sometimes you just like don't want to deal with whatever and do the feeding and then the bathing and then this and this. it's like a constant routine man it's tough that's one of the hardest things about parenting is just the constant routine of having to be having to be so consistent and that's the biggest thing about parenting right is the consistency is having to be so consistent all the time routine schedule your own behavior uh you know you always have to be kind of on right and so yeah, that, it, that giving them some screen time gives you a chance to be off a little bit. But I think exactly. where the challenge becomes, as you said, you know, when you have these, they're making all these micro decisions, their brain is racing. How do you then teach them patience? How do you teach them that they're going to need to wait for things? So I'm just going to go ahead and end our first test video podcast thing there. Ben and I went on to talk for about 45 minutes to an hour or so. And a, a lot of which was me not doing a good job at stringing my thoughts together. It, it didn't make for a very pleasant listen. So it, it's definitely going to be a learning experience for me as we move forward uh, into 2023 with more podcasts and, and video podcasts like this. But I am excited for it because this is something that I've wanted for quite some time to be able to hear from other dad voices and share their thoughts. So uh, we hope to have uh, experts and other dads out there uh, with, uh, you know, going, just going through similar things that, that you might be going through in these videos, please go ahead and submit any sort of ideas for topics that you would like to hear, because this is very, this is very moldable. This is all half baked. I just, I, I reached out to Ben and said, Hey, do you want to do a podcast? He's like, yeah, sure. So this is what came of it. Um, this is what made the cut, but we've definitely got more stuff coming down the line. I'm excited to create content much more regularly because throughout 2022, I failed to do a good job at creating on a much more consistent basis. Uh, but with the help of this podcast, I think um, we're going to be able to be a lot more consistent and it's going to sound a lot more pro professional than the this first video that you heard where I was using an older mic. This just came in. So hopefully it's all sounding really, really good, but really excited for the things to come. And I hope you are too. Again, let me know what you want to hear down the line. We'll catch you later. Peace.